For years, San Francisco public notary Leo Lacayo has been the focus of investigations by the city attorney's office. In recent years, Leo Lacayo has been the biggest and worst offender that we're aware of uh, who has defrauded hundreds of immigrant families of money. This week, a judge granted the city's motion to stop Lacayo from providing what they categorized as, quote, fraudulent immigration services, citing a violation to an order Lacayo received in 2017, prohibiting him from acting as an attorney. It extends our previous injunction by another five years. He's not allowed to even make referrals or provide any advice. Norberto Molina said he was a victim of Lacayo in 2016 when he paid him thousands of dollars hoping to get legal aid in the U.S. More than 6,000. So and then uh, he he charged me another 500. Attorney Pilar Eslava with community-based legal organization La Raza Centro Legal has been picking up the pieces of cases like Norberto's. He was lying to clients. He was presenting himself as an attorney. Eslava explains that in Latin America, a notary is an attorney with a specialty. Lacayo's clients says he hides behind that distinction. In the U.S., notary could be anybody. You don't have to finish, uh, you don't have to have a bachelor degree to be a notary in the United States, but these people don't know that. According to court documents, Lacayo's fraudulent behavior is vast. His office has submitted over 400 applications to U.S. immigration authorities, many of these families losing thousands of dollars. We went to Lacayo's office and were told he was out. On the phone, he said these allegations were, quote, garbage and sarcastically laughed about not showing up to court. This immigration attorney hopes the city goes beyond a second motion. He really disregarded the court. Chu said Lacayo could face larger consequences if he's caught providing legal immigration services after the latest motion. There are potential criminal consequences. In San Francisco, Luz Pena, ABC7 News.